The Thanksgiving break has ended and school starts back up again today, but the holiday season is in full swing. We've got a winter celebration coming up and the East Campus is putting on a play this week. There's a music concert happening soon and basketball season is up and running with some home games and our new gym right around the corner. As we wrap up 2013, there's a lot going on over the next three weeks and we'll be bringing you all the details right here on Patriots Today. Good morning, I'm Marina Hartman. And I'm Daniel Vito. Welcome back from Thanksgiving break, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the week off from school. And speaking of breaks, we've got another one just three weeks away. That's right. The winter break is twice as long. Thursday, December 19th, will be our last day of school, just in time for Christmas. And we'll be back on Monday, January 6th, after bringing in the new year. And speaking of the next three weeks, we've got a lot going on. Up first, the East Campus is holding a performance of The Wizard of Oz this week, and the hour-long production is scheduled for Thursday and will feature two performances at the Desert Shores Community Baptist Church next to the East Campus, one at 5.30 and the other at 7 p.m. The play will feature the elementary students in acting roles, and our own Miss Meeting will provide her musical talent. The Patriot Production students will be on hand to televise the event, and DVDs will be available. In winter concert, we will be held in the following Monday, December 9th, in the new gym. The concert will be featuring performance by Miss Meeting Music Students and will begin at 7 p.m. Please come out and support our musicians and singers by enjoying their music. The school's annual holiday celebration will be held on Tuesday, December 17th. This year's theme is Winter, Wonder Winter Wonderland and the event will take place from 5 to 7 p.m. in the gym and in the surrounding classrooms. All students are invited to attend along with their families and friends. Clubs, teams, and classes will offer a variety of activities including letter to troops, crafts, games, cookie touch decorating, and more. Food and drinks will be sold and tickets can be purchased for other activities. On the next day, the elementary students will hold their annual Christmas performance titled The Winter Celebration 2013. Each of the elementary classes in the same holiday theme song of the, at the event, which begins at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, December 19th in the new gym. Wallapai Tribe held a Native American Day for elementary school on the Thursday before the break. Members of the tribe were on hand to share information about their history and culture, to teach a tribal dance, and to demonstrate some of their hunting weapons. Four stations were set up inside and outside of the gym for the elementary classes to rotate through and experience the different aspects of the Native American culture. The word Wallapai means people of tall pines. The basketball season is up and running, and we've got the latest in a moment right after Today in History. In 1804, Napoleon was crowned Emperor of France. In 1961, Cuban leader Fidel Castro declared himself a Marxist-Leninist. In 1990, composer Aaron Copeland died at the age of 90. The varsity basketball teams had a game right before the break. Dan will let us hear for the sports report to let us know how they did. Thanks, Rena. Hey, Daniel. Let's get right to the basketball game. The high school season got underway this Thursday, November 21st, as the high school varsity team traveled to Phoenix to take on the Crestview Knights at Greenway Middle School. The Lady Patriots came out swinging as they dominated the Crestview girls. The starters played a 15-3 a first quarter with the Knights' only score coming on a three from the Lady Knights. The Patriots started freshman Anissa Estrada at point guard, and she brought in 12 points on the night while leading her team. After the opening quarter, Coach Kern played his bench for most of the remaining time, and they kept the momentum going, outscoring the Knights 24-8 to in the second quarter. The pattern continued in the second half, and the Lady Patriots won the game 57-17. to Junior Caitlin Taylor led in scoring for the night and from the bench with 18 points while shooting 67%. She also bought down seven rebounds and to lead the stat as well. Coach Curran noted that all five of his freshman players scored in their first high school game. The varsity boys played next in the game that was much tighter. The Patriots opened the, with a strong 12-3 first quarter and maintained in the second to go in the halftime with a 22-15 lead. However, the Knights broke away in the third quarter as they controlled the paint to take a four-point lead. Malk regained control in the final quarter and drew within one point 
towards the end of the game. But a shot by Andrew Chain with 10 seconds remaining went in and out of the rim. A foul right after gave the Knights two more points on a free throw to take the game 54 to 51 in a heartbreaking loss for the Patriots. The Patriots traveled to Orm this Friday for the second official game of the season. Good luck to both teams against the Warriors. The first basketball event in the new gym will take place this afternoon. The high school varsity teams will host a red on white game starting at 345. First up, the girls will split into two teams and scrimmage each other. Then the boys will do the same. There's no charge for admission, so come out and have your first look at the teams. Tomorrow, the high school JV team has their first game against Builders Academy. It's a home game, so come out at 345 and support our boys. The cost is three at the door for adults, one for kids, and mock students with a school shirt will get in free. And that's your sports. I'm Dan Willett. Thanks, Dan. We've got more news coming up. But first, here's today's lunch menu. Before we go, here's what happened in the world around us. The City Annual Boom Box Parade takes place on Friday and Melk doing the part of it to support it. The event is presented in the Colorado River Women Council and starts at 6 p.m. Friday on Hancock Road near River Gardens. The parade will run in the Hancock and down the train road and Gary Kaith Park in the time of the City Holiday Festival at 8 p.m. The Key Club and the Builders Club from Melk will be meeting on Wednesday from 4 to 7 p.m. to decorate the Melk floats, which will be part in the parade. You may also heard two of the middle school students, Kyle Fernandez and Alfredo Ortiz, in the radio commercial for the event of the airing on 97.5, a live a FM, a local station that is sponsoring the parade. A number of fast food restaurants across the nation may be closed this Thursday. In 100 cities around the country, employers at the fast the major fast food chains like McDonald's and Wendy's are planning to strike as a part of a movement that is demanding higher wages for workers in the industry. The movement includes a number of different groups and has a strong union support as it seeks to increase the wages for the fast food employees to $15 an hour. The federal minimum wage is only $7.25 and the National Restaurant Association has started that the demanded pay increase would force restaurants to hire fewer workers and rely more on automation. A Chinese rocket blasted off yesterday morning and headed for the moon. The Chang E3 rocket lifted it off around 1.30 a.m. Beijing time today, which was 10.30 Sunday morning here. The rocket is carrying the Jade Rabbit lunar rover, which will land on the moon in a few weeks and begin exploring the surface for natural resources. For, two, for only two nations have landed over the moon, the United States was first, followed by the Soviet Union decades ago. The Chinese space program, which is led by the military, plans to establish a permanent space station in the orbit around Earth by the year 2020 and eventually hopes to send a person to the moon. That is the news, for, that is the news here is your word of the day. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you tomorrow.